Well, as expected, there's some damage control which is happening. Shivraj Patil, uh, Jihad and the Mahabharat, uh, that entire parallel that he had drawn. Now you have Congress Neta Jairam Ramesh who's clarified that party stand is not the same what Shivraj uh, really said. The Congress party has distanced itself from Shivraj's uh, remark. Jairam Ramesh has tweeted and I'm quoting, My senior colleague Shivraj Patil reportedly made some comments on Bhagavad Gita and that's unacceptable. Subsequently, he clarified uh, that uh, the Indian National Congress stand is clear. Bhagavad Gita is a key foundational pillar of Indian civilization. So clearly the Congress party in a damage control mode. Pallavi with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, uh, damage control by the Congress party? It's very interesting because Jairam Ramesh puts out excerpts of the Bhagavad Gita hmm. uh, to make the point that the Congress party has a particular stand. See, we have been discussing since uh, last night, whenever that statement came out from Shivraj Patil, that it would make the Congress party very uncomfortable and they would not be in sync with what he said. Uh, you know, uh, after 2019 Lok Sabha elections, there was an internal assessment report of the Congress in which they acknowledged that one of the main reasons why they faced a drubbing a second time round is because the Hindutva agenda edge was with the BJP and not with the Congress party. The mm. Congress was being seen as a minority appeasement party. And the Congress since then, really, Anusha, has been trying to get rid of the image. But every time a comment like this comes up, say, from a Shivraj Patil, who's a very senior uh, leader of the Congress party, it puts them onto a back foot. And which is why the Congress wants to hurriedly go and clarify that this has got nothing to do with the Congress's official stance. All right, Pallavi, thank you so much for getting us that analysis and perspective. Well, with that, it's a wrap.